Hello everyone. Welcome to Lab 13, Network Troubleshooting in a Small Office Environment. So let me read out the scenario first. So imagine you are the tech person in a small office with only five computers all uh, connected to the same network. They should able to access a share folder on a Windows 10, Windows 10 PC. One employee using a Windows 7 PC with the MAC address 000C2924FB6. And he cannot access the share folder from uh, his system. To troubleshoot, you decide to use the tool called NetDiscover on your computer to check if the employee computer is connected to the network. And you want to save the results for the later references. So now, what is NetDiscover? So NetDiscover is a network scanning tool used for discovering devices connected to a network. It works by sending ARF, which is Address Resolution Protocol, requested and analyzing the responses to map out devices present on the network. So now this is the steps. So prerequisite is to make sure all the virtual machine, which is Windows 10, Windows 7, and Kali Linux are running. So I am using the virtual machine, not the uh, real device. So I am using all the win uh, um, like Windows 7, Windows um, 10, Kali Linux, and few more uh, a few more um, operating system in the virtual box or uh, you can use the virtual box but I'm using the uh, VMware Fusion. Okay, so let me uh, open the VMware. So this is my VMware um, uh, looks like and all this is the VM virtual machine VM, right? So I have a Windows um, Windows 10. So Windows 10 is already running. And then I have Windows 7 is also running. And then Kali Linux. Kali Linux is also running. Okay, so all this is the prerequisite. Make sure all three are uh, running. So now let me show you the scenario like what is happening. So in, in Windows 10, we have on folder under C drive, user so we have one folder called uh, share folder uh, from windows 10 so this is the folder that uh, windows everyone everyone from the network same network should able to see this folder so this is from the windows 10 so now if i go windows 7 so i should able to see this folder um, this folder okay so now let me let me open the network so you see, I don't see any available share folder under the network. So I should see the Windows 10 folder here, but it's not there. So that is the issue. So, so in order to resolve this issue, we have to do some troubleshoot. So the first, as a network administrator, for what we have to do, we have to open, uh, so this is the steps, open Kali Linux and run the following command to discover the MAC address of the for Windows on the network. So since we are, we have to use the same network. So the network address is this uh, 192.168.43. So this is the network that we are using. Okay, so let me open the terminal. And let me first make sure Kali Linux has that 43 network. So if config, so it is one, right? So it is, it is the, um, uh, 192.168.43 network. Okay, so now let me clear this. And Windows 7, Windows 10, uh, everyone should uh, use the 43 network. Okay, so I'm going to use this comment. Copy, paste. So it's the sudo net discover and then hyphen i and uh, it instead of eta is zero i have to use the eta is one and hyphen r and this is the network i want to see all the network all the devices is using this network 43 okay now enter so i have to enter the password is kali 
and let me put over the password. So it will take a few minutes um, depending on the speed. So right now is searching the network, which is 192.168.43, uh, 43, 43.0. All right, so the scanning looks like is uh, completed. So I'm going to stop by pressing the uh, control C. Okay, so now I'm going to see if the MAC address is available in this table or not. Okay, so for Windows 10, this is the MAC address. Okay, so let me see. So it is 00, 0C, 000, 000, 0C, 29. Uh, 29, 24. So I don't see any 24 here. A, B. Okay. So this MAC address is not available here. Okay. So now uh, what I'm going to do is step number two. If the MAC address for a Windows 7 computer is not displayed, follow uh, this step on the Windows system. So click on the start menu and type network and sharing center, network and sharing center. So I have to go to the uh, Windows 7 computer. So this is the Windows 7. And I'm going to click on the start menu and type network and sharing center. And then I have to uh, click on the local area connection. I have to click on local area connection then click on properties then click on tcp ip bar, tcp ip ip version 4 then click on properties and then select the radio button for obtain an ip address automatically okay so right now you see somebody assign this ip address manually so that's the reason it's not getting automatically the 43 network. So I just have to select the obtain IP address automatically. Now click OK. Close. Close. And I'm going to close this one as well. So now um, it's a, a repeat step number one. So let me go back here and I'm going to run again the network discovery. Again, it will take a few minutes. All right, the scanning is completed. So let me stop it. So now I'm going to see if the MAC address is uh, uh, MAC address is display now or not. So the MAC address is 000C. So 000C 29, then 24. So this is the MAC address. As you see here, 000C2924FBE6. Uh, this is the MAC address for Windows 7. So, and his IP address he got is on 41, 43 network, and he got the IP address is this. So now if I, uh, if I go back, um, go back to the Windows 7, I should see the share folder. So let me go back to the network. And you see right now is display the Windows 10, right? So let me double click. And this is the share folder from 10, uh, Windows 10. So let me go back, you see share folder, share folder from Windows 10. So this one has a t uh, uh, test.txt. If I click here, I also have a test here. It's the same information. I am I'm able to see it. You see, this is the test file. This is the test file. And this is on the left side, it is the Windows 10. And this is on the right side, it is the Windows uh, 7. So now we are, we are seeing. We troubleshoot the network and we identify the problem and we resolve the issue. Okay. So now one more thing that we are going to do is let me close this and uh, so this one we also can you know save the results like we can save the result 
in our um, in our file. Okay, so in order to save the scan report, uh, we have to use this comment uh, here. So run the following comment to save the network discovery results. So let me copy this comment and paste it here. So what the, what we are telling here? Pseudo net discover hyphen i, then again it should be ETAs zero or uh, ETAs one, <clears throat> and then get, uh, space getter then then this is the name of the file net discover results dot txt. Okay, enter. So now it is already um, it's already done. Okay, so now how, where is is going to save? Is going to be save it in the Kali Linux home. So click on the application. I mean, uh, click on the places, then click on home. And you see discover underscore results. So discover net discover underscore results. So if you double click on it, and uh, if you expand, so this is the scan report. So it will save it in the um, in the in the home directory in Kali Linux. So you can also save it in the uh, um, in the desktop, but you have to be in the desktop first. Okay. So hopefully this uh, this help you to learn how to troubleshoot network. Okay. Thank you.